Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, J. D. King Hefner and the beautiful Cali Sun, and we're back again for another show. And the title of this episode is Meet the Family. Meet the Family. And what do I mean by that? I'll get to that right about now. Hey guys, I'm back again with Queen Cali in tow. And as you can see, she got that blue hair cause she just don't care. And she looking beautiful and sexy as ever. And she's right on time because today's show is Meet the Family. And, and this show came about because a viewer asked me, how do I introduce my dogs to my family? He said, I think I'm ready to take the plunge. And it's actually a very complicated question because truthfully, there's no right way to do it. But I'm going to give it my best shot. As far as me, I knew that I was going to be going out with my dog, doing things with my dog. I knew it was only a matter of time before everybody that I know would find out that I had a companion dog. So honestly, when I first got my dog, I was telling everybody I came in contact with. I was so proud of the fact that I was getting the dog and I knew exactly what I was going to do. So I told my family, I told my co-workers, I told my bosses, I told people in stores, I told people in restaurants, I told people any and everywhere. And I was telling people this before my dog even came home. I was unapologetic, I had my chest stuck out, and I had no regard for what anybody had to say. The only thing I was thinking about was, man, I'm going to be happy doing exactly what I love to do. And I'm going to let everybody know right now so they can be prepared and they won't be shocked. Because even if they are, I don't give a damn. This life is too short to care. Now, as it relates to you, the first thing I would do is ask myself, why do I want to tell my family? Why do I want to tell my family? Because... You have to figure it out. Am I telling them because they're going to be coming in contact with my dog? Am I telling them and they're never going to see my dog and I just want to get it off my chest? Why do you want to tell them? Once you figure out why, figure out the people that you want to tell. Once you figure out the people you want to tell and narrow it down, because you may not be like me, telling the whole world, telling every Tom, Dick, and Harry exactly what you want to do. It may be only three people that you really need to tell. You may not need to tell the whole family. So once you get those three people narrowed down, I say think about it, think about it, and think about it some more. If you feel like they're going to come in contact with your dog, I go ahead and get it off my chest. I be like, hey family, this is my dog Callie. I know it's something different, but this is the life I'm choosing right now. Uh, I love this life, and I know you might not understand it, but this is the direction that I'm taking my life right now. And believe it or not, I'm happy as i ever been. And at that point, they're going to have their opinion. I say be nice to them, be willing to answer questions, and remember one thing. You're not telling them this so they can accept you. You're not telling them this so they can accept you. The truth is, once you reveal it, you have to be prepared to get judged. They may judge you. They may say you're crazy. They may talk about you. And at that point, you have a responsibility to not go back at them, not get upset, because you revealed it to them in good faith so you can get it out of the way. Whether they love it or whether they hate it, your job is simply to say, with all due respect, I'm not trying to get anybody upset or riled up. I just want to let you know this is how I'm living my life. I would appreciate it if you would respect it. You don't have to love it, but just respect the way that I'm choosing to live my life right now because it's making me happy. At that point, you can wipe your hands with it. It would be great if everybody was like, look, we accept it. That's what you want to do and pat you on the back. But it may still be naysayers. It may still be people calling you crazy. Every time you show up, 
to a family event. And I guarantee you this, if you tell three people, eventually it'll be six, and eventually it'll be 12. More and more people are gonna know over time. It's just going to happen. But be brave, be confident, don't do it for their approval. Do it because you know this is where you're taking your life. And right now, you don't want to hide it from the people that's closest to you and people that are going to be coming in close contact with you and your dog. You don't want to have to put your dog in the closet every time they say they coming over your house. So if it's family that you know you're going to be dealing with on a frequent basis, it does make sense to consider going the route of letting them know and the quicker they find out the quicker they can get used to your new life and yeah they may still call you crazy but you won't have to hide anymore in the end i don't believe it's any one right way to do it i just believe if you have it on your heart you just have to do it don't do it mean do it understand that you may not be accepted and do it understanding that people may try to judge you or talk about you but ultimately you're doing it to get it off of your chest so you can live your life and be happy without carrying no extra weight around that's really why you're doing it and believe me it may be hard but it's gonna feel a lot better it's gonna be worth it if you decide to do that but I won't tell anybody out there to do it unless it's unavoidable. If you got a wife, don't hide it from them. If you got family that's in close contact with you, you don't want to be hiding that dog every single day of your life. Go ahead and tell them. If it's distant family, people you don't see that often, maybe you don't want to go that route. And you definitely don't want to go the route that I went to telling the whole world, unless you're talking about living a lifestyle that I do, going out on dates, being out on the city, doing all type of things in public. In that case, I say tell as many people as you can tell, because they're going to find out eventually anyway. But just know, whatever decision you make, don't let man's judgment, don't let man talking about you and calling you names or anything like that define you. Man does not define you. God already loves you and think you are perfectly made and you can take on any challenge in this life that you choose to take on. So keep your head held high no matter what comes your way. If you decide to tell your family about your companion dog, just know that J-Dog King Hefner and all the ladies in the Dog King family, especially this beauty right by my side, Cali Son, well, we all got your back. Just know that. And if you need some extra support, reach out to some of your Dog King family brethren. I'll pick you up, and I'm sure there's other family members out there that are definitely sharing an encouraging word or two. But I applaud you if you decide to tell your family it's definitely a courageous thing. They're going to give you some side eyes. Some people are going to look at you crazy. Some people are going to talk about you. But in the end, you're going to feel a lot better about it. They'll get used to the idea eventually. And your life will be more happy and fulfilled going forward. So in the end, be confident and be brave if you decide to introduce your companion dog to the family. Just let them meet the family and get ready to take on a new and exciting life, whether they accept you or not. Because in the end, the Dog King family accepts you, but more importantly, God accepts you and he loves you. So with all that said, we love you guys to hit those subscriptions and notifications. But as of right now, it's been me, J. Dog King Hefner, and the beautiful blue-haired Callie Sun, we are